Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh. A sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks.
Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. I'm try not to forget it. I'm here for information. Not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> That'll be all for now. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. 
It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. And then he said, You have no right to treat us like this. And the What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. My fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you, but in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Gentlemen, please, move back. Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? Have you seen how old this thing is? Force it too much will break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know, or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah, he's gonna get us into trouble. You can. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. 
Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shut. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You That's can't no understand. You're not sailors. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. That's no way Don't to put that beast an back in the water, oh, you yeah. shysters. You're crazy. The cops, they can't understand. You can't That's understand. That's no way to You're treat an sailors. omen. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. He's Come on, can we sort this out? You can see he's half drunk. There's, There's nothing, nothing for you to here sort either. Out. Beat Your it. chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> but you can stay to watch it. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins, but that's all I'll get from them. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these war frats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dock water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? I don't have time to play guessing games. I'm investigating the death of a whole family. You're right. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. 
Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Where do you think you're going? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? I'd like to know more about the Hawkins case. I don't think so. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. 
That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you-know-who. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, the lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile of the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> she sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, 
I'll have to look for another way. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory. But I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. This ratchet device seems to be usable. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. This handle will be perfect for the winch. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch.
Looks like everything is... All I have to do is turn this handle. Oil. Hmm. Smells harmless, but should I beware of psychotropic effects? <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. Hmm. This is primitive. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What happened here? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. It smells as bad as it looks. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins death. Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? 
Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. <laughs> 